Hello, hello! Welcome to YOLO Living. I'm Brell Albert and I am here today to talk about living in YOLO County. YOLO is nestled in between the Bay Area and Sacramento and even with those major population hubs, it is still a fairly rural and agricultural place to live. YOLO County has four kind of major towns, I don't want to say cities, they're really smaller towns, and a number of small rural communities. In Yellow County, we actually grow 90% of the tomatoes that are canned and sold throughout the U.S. Bet you didn't know that. And it is also home to things like the University of California at Davis and maybe lesser known things like the Sacramento River Cats minor league baseball team. The weather in Yolo County is hot and very dry in the summer. In the evenings, we get the cool Delta breeze coming up from the Sacramento Delta, which makes for lovely evenings sitting outside enjoying a meal once the temperature has cooled off. In the winter, it can be cool and a little rainy, but generally it's very mild here. So overall, it makes for a lovely place to live year round. In Yolo County, we are lucky to have easy access to work centers like Sacramento and the Bay Area, but then also recreation places. You can easily pop over to Napa Valley to do some wine tasting, or up to Lake Tahoe to go skiing in the winter, or sailing, biking, hiking in the summer. There are four great towns to live in Yolo County, Davis, Woodland, West Sacramento, and Winters. All of them have a unique feel to them, which makes for lots of choices on what the best spot is for you in Yellow County. Here's some more information about Yellow County before we talk about all four of those towns. first town in Yellow County is Davis, which is my hometown and has a special place in my heart. Davis is also home to the University of California's School of Agriculture, and it is renowned for its veterinary college, for its viticology and enology. In case you don't know what those are, that's grape growing and winemaking. So, nice place to live. There are a lot of winemakers in our area. Davis has a fantastic downtown. It has great shops and restaurants and a real sense of community there. Davis has so many wonderful outdoor spaces to enjoy our great weather here in Yolo County and has a farmer's market that is renowned to be one of the best small farmer's markets in the country. As far as housing in Davis, Davis is a slow growth town. We are very careful with our expansion and so we have a lot of older homes along with some newer neighborhoods. Here are some more facts about Davis and why I love it so much. Next on the list in Yolo County is Woodland. Woodland is the second largest city in Yolo County and it's also the county seat. Woodland is home to a lovely downtown district with some really fantastic restaurants, a great movie theater that was just redone, has all the comfortable reclining seats, you can get a glass of wine and enjoy your movie with the kids. Woodland also has the Yolo County Fair each year, which is a really popular destination to get together with your friends and family, along with frequent uh, street festivals downtown. Housing-wise, Woodland has some beautiful old Victorians, and it has really taken preserving its historic buildings seriously. On the other side, it has some very nice new construction, so if you are looking to live in a brand new house, Woodland is a great option. So these are the things about Woodland that I love. Here are some more facts about the town.
Another great town in Yolo County is West Sacramento. It's home to about 50,000 people. It's also home to the deep sea water channel. So historically, West Sacramento has been an industrial town. Its proximity to Sacramento and to the Bay Area is making it more of a destination for people to come and live there. West Sacramento now has Rayleigh Field with home to the River Cats, which are a really fun minor league baseball team. West Sacramento has a combination of older housing and new developments, and it also happens to be one of the more affordable places to live in the area. Here are some more facts about living and working in West Sacramento. And finally, our fourth and smallest town in Yolo County, which is Winters. I like to call Winters the hidden gem of Yolo County. Even though it's a very small town, it has fantastic restaurants in downtown. In fact, in 2018, it was named one of USA Today's best small town food scenes. In addition, there are a couple of wineries and the Barriessa Brewing Company just down the road. Another great thing about Winters is that it is very close to outdoor activities at Lake Berryessa and at Puda Creek. There's swimming and fishing and sailing and hiking all right there. As far as housing goes, Winters has everything from rural living with farmhouses on many acres to older houses in town and also new construction. Here's some more information about living in winters. Thanks so much for joining me today to learn about Yolo County. If you have more questions or want more information, here's my contact information. Please feel free to give me a call, shoot me an email. I would love to hear from you. And please go ahead and like the video and subscribe to Yolo Living so that you can learn all you want to know about Yolo County.